What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I find suppliers to make my products once I find a good product that I want to sell on Amazon. There's a lot of different things to look for. I've looked for suppliers in the US and other countries, so I'm going to show you how I do that, as well as what I look for when I'm actually on sites like Alibaba.com to determine if it's a good supplier for my product. But before we get into it, if you could just smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, it really does help me out and it shows my content to other people, as well as hit that subscribe button if you like my content and hit the bell icon if you want to stay notified with every video that I upload on YouTube. Thank you for that and just by doing that I also do a giveaway at the end of every month where I give away $100 or my Amazon FBA course and I pick a random winner from the comment section down below so if you leave a comment and you like the video then you have a chance to win. Alright so we're going to get into my computer right now and I'm going to show you a couple different methods on how I find suppliers. Um, so we're actually looking at Amazon right here. We're going to use a cheese board as an example. I always use a cheese board as an example I don't know why but I'm gonna open up helium 10 right here and we are gonna run x-ray which shows you all of the numbers if you don't know what x-ray is I use this tool all the time it gives you the estimates of all the sellers revenue their daily sales their sales chart now with their new release you could go right here to source on Alibaba directly in Amazon now this saves a lot of time in my opinion because you always want to see how much it actually costs to make this product um, so right off the bat we could see they are around eight to six dollars dollars twelve dollars um three dollars so let's say that we only have like a minimum of five dollars per cheese board that we could spend so i'm gonna go right here i'm gonna hit five and then um, minimum order quantity say we only want to order 200 i am gonna do a minimum of 200 and then i always do advanced filters right here and then this is where you could pick the different countries so if you want to source from china you just leave it as the default but if you want to source from united states i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to hit apply and see if there's any suppliers in the US right here you can see these are all US suppliers so you can find US suppliers to make the product but for this example I'm gonna lean towards China because it's usually cheaper I did source on a website called thomas.net um, I'll pull that up right now sorry not thomas.net it's thomasnet.com so I pulled it up right here and it's basically like Alibaba for the US but I've used this site it's kind of jinky it's not like user-friendly um, and I've messaged some of the suppliers from this website and I I never got a response and I also called some suppliers I never got a response and when I did get a response the prices that they gave me were sky high I would have to sell like $20 above all the other sellers and there would be no room for profit so that's why I always source from China even though some people don't like that but you do get prices a lot cheaper from China than the US um, it all depends on the product as well so I'm gonna go back to Amazon right here and we are gonna pick China. And then right here where it says vendor type, now you have two different types. You have a trading company and a manufacturer. A trading company basically can bundle different products together. Like say you wanna have a cheese board and a bag with a knife set. You could use a trading company because they have a lot of connections with all the manufacturers and they could bundle all of that together for you and sell it to you as one piece. I actually had a student use a trading company where he had like 20 different pieces for his product and they've got all the manufacturers, they find out who can make the product, and they do all the work from finding different manufacturers, and they bundle it all together. Um, but a manufacturer is the actual company that's gonna make your product. So if you're selling a cheese board, you don't have to go through a trading company, you could use a manufacturer who's gonna make your product, and they can do customizations, but the manufacturer can because they're making the actual product, but that can get pretty pricey if you wanna change the product completely and you need a whole new mold. I've gotten quotes up to $5,000 for a new mold for a little cheap plastic product that I wanted to launch and I figured it probably was not worth it so I didn't go with that one I just went with the basic design that I saw on their website um, but you can get a custom product on a lot of these different manufacturers you just have to ask them and see if they can make your design okay so a couple other things I do is I go right here I go to only verified supplier and then let's say we want to have a manufacturer so I'm gonna leave it on that and then you could pick the age of the count and then you're gonna hit apply and now it's gonna bring up all of the suppliers that meet your criteria right here um, but if you don't see all of your manufacturers on here, you could go to Alibaba.com. This is just like a little shortcut that gets you started. And then once you really know you're gonna go for that product, all you do is go right here to view more on Alibaba.com. And then basically all of that information from Helium 10 X-Ray is on the side right here. So I always pick a supplier that has trade assurance. That means that your payment is guaranteed. If something goes wrong with your order, you have insurance on that payment. You're paying through Alibaba. You're not wiring them money. This is a lot safer. So you wanna find a supplier who offers that on their products. 
And then I also do verified supplier. That means they're verified on Alibaba. And then another thing I do is I look at their ratings. So right here, you can see they have like a 4.6 star. Like on Amazon, you wanna make sure they have a lot of good reviews and you could click on these and actually see the reviews from people that bought them from the US. From other countries, you could see if they had any issues with that supplier. This one has a five star. Again, they're verified. They have trade assurance. They've been on Alibaba for four years. This one's been on here for six years. And these diamonds mean their performance index, meaning five is the highest. So this has a four star. Um, I don't really look at this performance index, but you don't wanna find a supplier that has no reviews and they only been on Alibaba for like a half a year because they might be a fraud or a scam company and then Alibaba will kick them off once they find out. So I always look at these different options when I'm on Alibaba. And then once you do find a good supplier, we're gonna say that we wanna go with this one. We're gonna click on it. And then now is the point where you wanna contact that supplier and give them all of your questions that you have for them before you place the order. You wanna ask them if you could get a sample sent to your house, how much that will cost, what's their minimum order quantity and then you are going to send them an email or you could just message them directly right here so you're going to click contact supplier and then you're going to give them all of your questions now it's important to space out the questions because if they see a big paragraph they don't like to read the whole thing they might be a language barrier so you need to ask questions like what's the moq and then do a space 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 so they could answer that and then how long will it take to ship to the us what's the price for ddp shipping and all of those questions you want to ask the supplier you could ask if they'll refund you the sample price if you do place a large order i have a lot more information in my course where i have like a template that i usually send them but you want to sound like a big company so they think they have a chance to make a lot of money with you because they might give you a better quote they might give you better pricing if you just say hey how much is it for this product if i want 200 then they might not spawn like your big company they might jack up the price because you're a new seller you don't have any experience so they're going to give you the highest price that they can and then if they give you a high price tell them that you found another supplier at a lower price and usually they'll match that price i've done it with a couple suppliers and they actually brought the price down below what i told them so that does work with some suppliers if they have room to wiggle but yeah that's all you want to do you want to go right here to contact supplier and then if you can't even understand what they're saying to you then you might want to find another supplier because you're going to be dealing with them for a while and if there's any issues with the product, you're gonna have to contact them. So make sure you could understand what they're saying and you could actually communicate because that's very important. Another thing I like to do is come down here to the company profile and then it shows like their certifications, um, their company profile right here. It usually has like different products they offer. They have pictures of the manufacturer. Um, so you wanna make sure it looks like a legit company. They have their certifications right here. Again, this could all probably be Photoshop, but as long as it's on here and they have like all this stuff, then you have a little more reassurance that they're a legit company and all of these other things like the time they've been on Alibaba, their company, their star rating. And then they've had over 2.9 million transactions. And then it also has their delivery rate. So you always wanna look at all of this stuff right here just to make sure that they're legit and a good supplier for your product. Pricing is important too. You wanna make sure you have enough margin and if they don't have a good enough price, you could always look for other suppliers. All right, so that's the basics of finding a good supplier on Alibaba.com or other websites using Helium 10 X-Ray's new feature or just going directly on Alibaba and trying to find a supplier. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button down below. I also have Helium 10 discount codes right down below for 50% off if you want to check it out. And all of my information is right down below. All right, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.